Hey everybody, it's Bill Zanetti. I am here at Universal City Walk in Orlando and they have opened the brand new Universal Legacy Store. We are here at night so we can see all the cool lighting packages on the outside. But let's take a look inside. But before we do that, please give us a like. Hit that like button. Ring that bell if you want to get updated on when I post new videos. And please subscribe. Let's get to it. So right off the bat coming in here, we have a bunch of TVs stacked on one another. <laughs> we got some old footage uh, from Universal. It's really kind of cool. So, oh, I, lo I love they wanted to figure out a way to display the old stuff on, uh, on new TVs. So they have old TVs here. That's great. Earthquake, San Francisco, no! So here's the retro okay. merchandise. Now the big thing here, they have models, they have pictures. Keep your eyes peeled, maybe you'll find Bob Galtz up here. Or Jay Stein. Some of the people that worked on parks in the old days. There's uh, Tom Williams. He's the head of parks and resorts now at Universal. We got stars of Back to the Future with Tom Williams. That's pretty cool. It's like they're rehearsing for the Wild 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 West stunt show. This is really a cool store. A lot of neat merchandise in here. A lot of neat props. Replica proton pack. So it looks like everything's kind of divided in little sections. We got ET, but ET is still open. I guess that's the only thing that's been here that long. Well, this isn't really legacy merchandise over here. It's Marvel. I wonder if that's contractual or something. <laughs> I have a feeling it might be. But, uh... Oh, Neutron. In Jurassic Park. It's an old Neutron costume. It's really about the uh, the detail work that went into this store. Tropical sets. That's That's some trivia. Simpsons ride. <laughs> Tom and Dan. That's pretty funny. It's really cool. If you appreciate the old stuff from the park, this is definitely a can't miss shop. We are in Universal City Walk in Orlando, and this replaced the old Universal Studios store because they're building a new one. concept art that they have here and the trivia is really cool they have like a timeline of the eras going on in here well that's the neutralizer from try not to move too quickly i want to keep it fairly steady they kept the universal logo i wish they had a, the old you know that would have been a great thing to put in here is the old universal studios escape logo so sorry. Oh, Kong. I do miss Kong. The new one doesn't hold a candle to it. So I don't know if this has ever been shown to the public before. This is a scale model for Hogwarts and uh, the redo of uh, Flight of the Hippogriff from the Magical Unicorn, or Flight of the Unicorn, or whatever it was. Interesting. 
Stephen Potter is part of the legacy. I don't... I don't think this is a ride vehicle. This is an actual... No, of course not. It's not a ride vehicle at all. Uh, it's fabricated for the grand opening celebration. Okay, so they made it just for that. That's cool, though. Really cool store. Really cool. They got some more old pictures sliding on here. Yeah, if you're really into how the parks are built, man, this is uh, this is a treasure trove of fun. Shows them working on effects. Oh my god. It's like opening day. Oh, there's King Kong. Confrontation. There, these boys built the park. Ah. I think really of Jay Stein to thank for the parks being here, but there's just so many other people that were involved. Yeah. Tom Williams has been here since basically the beginning, though. So. Really cool. You can Google all these names. I highly recommend uh, a book called Jay Bangs by author Sam Genoway. Um, if you really want to have a great book on the history of the Universal Parks and how they kind of invented the modern day theme park in a certain way. It'll make more sense if you read the book, but long story short, Jay Stein was known for doing stuff to you, like throwing water in your face and shocking you on an attraction and everything else. Basically, he just wanted to terrorize people <laughs> there on the rides. Um, but that was, you know, that it was the idea was to wake you up, you know. Disney was kind of his mostly passive sleepy experiences. Great for the family, but Universal wanted something a little bit more action-packed. And, uh, you know, after Universal started building stuff, that's when Disney started getting a little bit more edgy after that anyway. So, Star Tours was probably one of the first big things that Disney did to get super edgy. But yeah, so definitely come in, take a look at the brand new Universal Studios Legacy Store here in CityWalk. It is definitely worth a visit. And uh, I believe it doesn't stay open until the rest of CityWalk does. It closes a little bit earlier, so don't expect it to be open. If the parks close at 10, it might be open maybe for another half hour, hour or so. so. Just make sure that you get here early enough if you want to see it. Some of this merchandise has been out for a while, but it's nice to know that it has a home for quite a long time here. Well, anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. What is this from? This looks like it's from The Fly. That's crazy. I, can't, I don't know if that's what that's from, but... Anyway, uh, please, definitely take a look like and subscribe ring the bell if you haven't i try to go to the parks all the time so i'm trying to bring more content to you as often as i can and if you've enjoyed this video i will post some others very much like it have a great one everybody Bye bye